it's absolutely no doubt that Huawei uh, was caught uh, red-handed, uh, so to speak, um, you know, engaged in um, espionage activity. John Quelch is here. He is the Dean of the University of Miami Business School. Let's bring in our guest, John Quelch, who is the Dean of the Miami Business School at the University of Miami. And this uh, discovery uh, was over the past year communicated with the intelligence community in many Western countries, which were happily doing business with Huawei, and which suddenly realized that actually maybe their, their phone systems, etc., were being compromised. So the Huawei case, um, actually, it's nice to have a specific case, because then you can really see uh, the mechanisms that are being used um, and you can see clearly how they uh, uh, detract from the competitiveness of uh, legitimate U.S. and Western competitors. What they would argue is that um, nothing that they did was anything worse than what uh, we have done or our companies have done over the years to each other or to others uh, in uh, Europe or Japan. What we have to understand is that a company in China is not ever a private entity that operates independently of the state. And that when you are invest, when you are dealing with a Chinese company, particularly in an area that is sensitive, security related, like telecom, you know, you are dealing with a company that is part of the military industrial complex of the Communist Party of China. And so there's no distinction between industrial espionage and state espionage. That is a blurred line because there's no distinction between industry and the state. There may be a distinction between state-owned enterprises and enterprises that are not state-owned, but even the enterprises that are not state-owned, nobody believes that they operate without sanction from and substantial communication flow uh, with the state. So we have to understand that. We have to understand that their private sector is not our private sector. 